lot of people in Philly think they got to sound like to get on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I think people can be excluded. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we know the popular DJs in the city are right. only going to play people affiliated with the Bull League or right. sounding something like it or sounding something like down south. And that's all related to me. I got into a really deep conversation with somebody about Meek Mill. Uh -huh. And what people in the industry are saying, now with the absence of Louis V. Gutter, the music isn't as good as it was when he was in the camp. Or it's or it, it's not as creative. What, what what do you say about that? Listen, I can say go get his get his album. <laughs> it's the book, but this is about the LP right now. I feel you. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Let's talk about a new beginning. Yeah, new beginning. Yeah, it's getting a lot of buzz. That, that everywhere. Getting a lot of buzz. Not just in Philly. It's right. Still right. Still they still putting still it in the light city for Kendrick. Right. Exactly. Get it. I'm gonna get his. It's on Spotify. Yo and yo, go back and play the record. Everywhere you can possibly Because he's about, he's, he's about his business. He's about his business. Get, getting right up south in California. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. London. I was just about to mention that. You, you know got a nice little write up from Mississippi.com. How do you feel about that? That's real big. I, I, I'm hungry. Like, I'm, you know, some people reach out to them, like, yeah, check me out. Right, right. No, they reached out to me, like, yo, your album is amazing. You want to put it up. I'm I didn't know you, they was going to do a write up. I'm going to tell you what it is that I think that Mississippi.com really reached out to. There is a level of lyricism on your project that is missing from other so-called projects, not just in Philly, but all over, all over the country, period, exactly. Yeah, right. And it's like, you know, I'm an old school dude, so it's like, you know, I like trap music. I like all that, you know, violence and gun. It has, Some its, of place. It has its place. But before any of that music was in style, you had to say something clever. Yeah. To grab, it, to grab my attention. It had to be original. It had to, it had to be, be original and had to relatable. Be. Exactly. Everybody don't want to hear. I'm, I'm on the block with bricks all day. Every and day. that's a lot of times. Right. A lot of music you don't play right. on here. You might have a hot single. They will listen to it, and the whole album is just like the single. You trap it on every song. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. And you know, you may get away with it because okay, the one that, you, that your people pushing is clever. You know, you got some lyrics into it that's basically clever. Um, after that, nothing. Right. So, like, with your project, I I always want to say that is that it's an example of someone with a very good idea or ideas. Because right. some of the stuff you say on there, man, is like it it really it's amazing. It's like yo, that that takes thought and it's lyrical, and it's like a lot, it makes you look at other artists like yo, did you really? put time and effort into what you're doing or did you just come out with this mixtape and you came out with the other right. one on, on last month? Because you got a couple dollars and you know yeah. you got you're not trying you to break the album. You can go to the studio, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I feel what you're saying. I was going to say, um, in the article on the he actually referred to you as an MC. And exactly. You don't, you don't hear that a lot no. nowadays at all. Too many rappers. Yeah, too many rappers, too many rappers slash Singers, songs, singers, rap singers, and radio artists. When somebody calls you an MC, it That's is, it is you're being it's revered, right. and you're being put in another category that anybody can get across. Exactly. exactly. No, it's not a check. It's a stamp. Right. Right. Definitely. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Uh -oh. So how? I mean, how did that make you feel, man? It just made me feel motivated to keep on doing something right in the future. Definitely. So I want to know, um, we talked about the buzz that in the beginning of the yeah. When you were sitting down, I don't know how long it took you to create this project, but did you know leading up to the ending that it was going to be something? Well, you know, you have it in your mind, but you want to stay home. Stay home, <laughs> you know. But um, when I drive Redefine, a lot of people were saying, the other thing is on top of Redefine. I'm like, I think I can, like, you know, but it was the pressure, it was the sophomore right. pressure. Right, right, right. That's why I named it a new beginning. Like, I didn't want to think of it as a sophomore. I wanted to just think of it as my first. But truthfully, right. on this project, man, it had to be times where you in the studio with the producer, and you like, that's the shit! You had to, because 
when I listen to it, yeah, right. I'm not keeping it real. <laughs> because years ago, I, mean, I used to rap, so I know what it's like. You get to the point where you like, yo, a song is so hot, it scares you. Yeah. You like, yo, I, yo, I, I don't want to put... Yeah, I feel you. Like, you got to stop your session, like, this, this motherfucking new... Like, you was, you might call Bays or phone like, babe, this new shit, nigga, when you hit... Right. Yeah, I feel like that, like, and everybody around me that was, you know, hearing it, and said, like, yo, you don't know what you're doing. This yo, because I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, and it's like, years ago, man, I, I, I heard some projects uh, from, some, from some artists that I really admired, and uh, I wrote some blogs about it, and I was like, yo, people were kind of offended by the blogs. I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. I wrote a blog on Cree Fortress King Kong, okay. and I was really impressed with the songs he had. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting that same feeling about this project because you know how you say the sophomore project and people work. It's nothing really to be worried about. It's like this with the stamp on it, like, yo, all right, this dude's here to stay, this dude real. Because a lot of times you hear something hot from a cat and then you hear the next thing and you're like, man, it's kind of whack. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, shout out to my man. What's my man, Mag the Remy Ma? Oh, Papoose. Yeah, Papoose, um, uh, inconsistent ass. You know what I mean? That's my man. Yeah, well, I'll fool. He, he needs to be on there. That's the next you know what I'm saying? Fist fight That's with right. your butt. No, the only person that made Love Hip Hop work was Kate Michelle. She the only one with us. Facts. Stevie J did too. Oh, he's he back now. I'm so happy. Well, Stevie, but. Stevie was talented from the beginning. Yeah, like yeah, he did a lot of Biggie joints. He messed up with Jocelyn. Yeah, you know. Once you get on uh, uh, Love and Hip Hop reality show, you can make your talent basically gone. You just like, you know what I mean? Shout out to Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get a constant check. There you go. You got your check. Well, he's working with Biggie now, so hopefully he'll be back. Who? Who, who, who? Who will be back? Who is it just home about? Oh my God. Uh, Soldier Boy? No, before that. What's up? Uh, oh, oh, Matt Boots? Stevie Jack. Stevie Jack's back. Um, shout out to Joe Budden, the only, only dude on reality TV that can really rap like for real. If he just wasn't crazy, man, he might have some. Oh yeah, he's a cold hater. He's a cold hater. He ain't have to hate him before. Nah, but he's good. You know what I'm saying? He won't hate on you next. So, A New Beginning, the title. You yeah. just talked about it. You said, um, you named it A New Beginning because you wanted a new beginning. Right, right. You, wanted, you didn't want to like the song for Right, Does right. it have more meanings than just that? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, if you listen to the album, it's basically the golden era for the You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. I wanted to bring it back to that, like a lot of people were saying, my album feel like, uh, you know, the public enemy did. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a lot of substance, a lot, a lot, a lot of soul, where Philly is really from. Mm -hmm. It's in Philadelphia, so that's why I thought it would be also, and for the new generation. Right, you know, I got the, the, the uh, boys lad in Philadelphia right, right. cover with me. Right, I right, was right. actually speaking to them that day, and my photographer, shout out to Rick Stone, he took that picture. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I put it up on Facebook. Got, I don't know how many, like hundreds That's of likes. Good, right? Right? And then they was like, yo, you should just this for an Yeah, I should. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yo, I love that picture. When I first saw it, I was like, thank you. He has to be ready to lose this. Five, what up? 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 What's up, big dog? You ain't anything to say to Del P? Oh, man. Classical work that he's putting out. How are you, man? For what Philly stands up, baby. Appreciate that, bro. All the day, man. Thank you for being a part of it. You got me on my album, yeah. too, man. Okay. So, I'm definitely, um, uh, I mean, that's so, so rare nowadays. And, it's so rare to have a classical album like this, you know, no cutting, no, you know, no negative songs for real callers, no female, no bees and thoughts and all the niggas and niggas, like, you know. Right. Definitely, definitely, definitely stands out. Refreshing. Yes, appreciate that, bro. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling, bro. Have a good night. You too, man. You too, so, in your song, Broken Glass. Right. Uh, one of the lyrics, I kind of dissected it a little bit. 
<laughs> One of the lyrics, you say, uh, let's do it for justice, not for a flat screen. I took it as, I felt like it was pretty obvious you were talking about uh, the looting and all that that's been going on. Exactly. That's so, you kind of are opposite from what Denny's been saying, his views on it. Oh, no. He no, wants no he's not. What, I don't know. Like, what are you yeah, like, he, yeah, he's, he's, he's a little piece of it, but I'm going to let break you know it down. exactly okay. what it is. Malcolm X in it. Bro broken glass, mm -hmm. the sample, right. it's bottled. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Broken glass is basically like the reincarnation of the Gil Scott Heron. Right. Shout out to him and his family. Rest in peace to Gil Scott Heron. Mm -hmm. I grew up on him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, broken glass basically riots. When you, break, you know, that, that's, where it, that's where it came from. But when I say that, I'm saying it ain't cool for the cops to, you know, shoot us down. Right. But it ain't cool for black on black crime either. Exactly. That's why I said when it's black on black crime, y'all fight. But when the cops shoot us down, y'all sell riots. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I'm saying, don't use that just for a reason to go in the breaking exactly. the store and get flash screens or, you know. Exactly. That, that's be not. Mad. Be mad all right. the time. Be mad all the time. <laughs> all right. On every level. Yeah. Be mad at the boy. You saying free bro and rest in peace. Knowing that they did something to get there. Yeah, and that's deep because a lot of times, you know, our community, we don't deal with that part. Right. That's our homie. They did whatever he did, and we don't think about the victimization of whoever he did it to. Right. Who, who most of the time looked just like us. Could be our family. Right. You know what I mean? Welcome back to the Black Rock Morning Show. Only in the afternoon on PSMGmail.com. Yo, Broken Glass, Del P. Let me tell you something, man. The reason why I'm so impressed with that record is because it's different from anything that they're pushing right now. And something like that. You can actually see J. Cole and Kendrick like on the remix on like, you know what I mean? Because it is that kind of record. Yeah. And um, you know, that's that's the star maker record for me right here. Yeah. I love that. Because yeah, the thing is, yeah, but, man, look, I'm Samad Dawson. Oh yeah, shout out to Samad the most definitely. Because um we have you know we have a couple pages on Instagram and, and Facebook or whatever. I'm posting that video as soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna share it. Because, you know, it's it's just you have to be saying something sometimes. You know what I mean? And a lot of, and I know guys that have been doing the trap music, the transition. Right. They're like, yo, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do something else. And they got a very good response from it. And shout out to uh Sam Lance for the video. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Right. Most definitely. So yeah, that yeah, you again, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna run that video. I get I get excited about stuff like that. Thank you. Because on the website? Can we put it on? Yeah, it's on the website. Okay. I checked yeah. it out yesterday. Yeah. Okay. But I gotta, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but I want it on, on my yeah. page for my, my people to right. see it. You know what I mean? Because uh, it needs to be heard, man. And, and, and I like to hear the responses from people that really know real hip hop. Right. Because years ago, we used to say stuff. You know what I mean? We had, we had something to say. It was room for cats and then they had nothing to say. But we, but as a, as a whole, we were saying something. But you know what's crazy about that record? That's who, that's who love that record and want to play it. Who? Chuck. Oh, of course Chuck gonna love it. And that's because Chuck and Chuck, because he's one of my own. No. I got, listen, me and Chuck go back to the point where I'm not a friend, I'm not a follower on the like page. Right. I'm a follower on the page page because, you know, he, you know. Yeah, he started following me. Of course, most definitely, dog. Because he, he's into our community, man. And, right. And, and, and the thing is, it will be so much better if more MCs were into our community also. Not saying that every song has to be like Ruby Yeah, Lance. but it got to be a balance. Let's, let's it like should be. Like it should be. It was a balance. We right. had right. Kane, we had g Rack, we had MC Hammer, we had Mark right. Honeyburn, right, we had uh, Biz BPMD, Biz Markie, and, right. and everybody, all of them, and they all ate. Everybody all right. ate, but every now and then something touched them to make them make a record to add some meaning behind it. Right. Exactly. We don't get none of that. Right, and I think Broken Glass is like the fight the power of self -destruct. Of course, of course. Yeah. New Wave, fight yeah. the power of self-destruct. I always ask um, everyone over at Gatsby to dance with everything. I mean, I don't know about really doing it just for a hobby. You love right, it, right. I love it. Just, it to make money off of it. So yeah, like I do it for the love first. Right. Hopefully, you know, it'll, you know, 
help me get my family out of here. You know, right, of course. But um, I, I just want you know, I just want people to you know, embrace the music and appreciate it first and foremost. But um, hopefully the ladies will just you know get off their high horse, stop trying to get people high and shooting up. You know what I'm saying? And put some real music. Out. Definitely. So what's the next uh, song that? You're Next song, Like Her, featuring my man Jay Reason, producer by Sputnik and Throw the Head. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a catchy joint for the female. The females love it when I perform it. Is that to me yet? I don't know what this one is. What? It might be. Shit. It's supposed to have everything. Everything. It's 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 what? It's also, you know, it better be on Spotify. Do, 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 do. You better ain't gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Go get it on my iTunes. Yeah. Spotify. There you go. Can you go play? But Amazon, yeah, it's everywhere. It'll be on Titus. From a business standpoint, I gotta, I gotta ask you this question because I, I tell people all the time, please, to Be not real. put stuff on on that pit. Oh yeah, get yeah. your music registered because right. at the end of the day, you know, being an artist, you know, this is what you love to do. They can take you serious when you put it on. Exactly. Exactly, it, man. You know? Um, I try to tell people. That not people like, but people in this business, like yo, you can't wait to be signed. Sign yourself. Yeah. Put yourself out there. Indeed. Do the work that you would do, because a lot of artists, you know, that had deals, had hot music we've never heard, because the label went, like, ah, we're not ready. You, you're not ready. You know, you don't want to do that, that right now. Yeah. Of course. It's funny you brought that up because I was under a situation where. Management had three artists, three three acts or whatever. It was me, it was a girl named Tatiana, and it was a group of young boys from a lot. The label went with Tatiana first. She had the buzz, she just had the look. You feel me? Right, like, of course. It was, it, was, it was set up where I was supposed to get the girl right. first, and everybody else was supposed to come in. But they was like, you know what? We're going to go with her. She's at Universal and all that. She can go over here and there and there. Still ain't put a single on. I got to meet the dinner. Well, that happens, man. Right. That happens all the time. Exactly. You know, some of my closest uh, friends are in situations like that. Right. You know, um, I always say independence is the way to go because you have control of your creativity, right. you have control of when and, and something comes out. And the label that you confident and put your own money in. Right. You don't. Exactly. Right. Nobody minds putting some money behind somebody right. that put up their own money. Right, exactly. Can you say that again? Exactly. Exactly. Confident in yourself. Confident in your music. Confident in your music. My man, my man from Detroit, independent artist by the name of Fowl, very talented artist. He had a line in one of his rhymes. He was saying, "I'm not putting up nothing until you show me something you bought." Mm. You know what I mean? Like he's like, "I'm doing all this. Don't just jump on my bandwagon." Right. Talk about I'm gonna do no, no, no. Show me something you did. Right. Because I've been exactly. reaching in my pocket. Working at the factory and going to the studio, right. you know what I mean? So a new I, beginning was yes. done on a double tree budget. You feel what I'm saying? I hey man, look, I feel you, real right. I feel you, I feel you, man. You, you know you what I mean? You still got it done. That's, that's, right. That's that. That's. that's so when people talk that I don't got this stuff, man. Come on, man. Listen, if you if you want it, you gonna go get it. Exactly, man. Exactly. Well, cares, man. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Hey, right? You can spend time with us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. True story though. So any young woman that's out there that you know wants to get into this hip hop. So what you don't give them any type of way to do first the first thing I'm gonna say, stay in school. First. You know what I'm saying? Second of all, always be yourself. Right. Always be yourself. Don't let nobody tell you, no, don't do this. This is what's on Because waves, they, they wipe out. You know what always, I'm always. I've been sticking to the same LP since forever. Right. That's all. That's all. And keep grinding. Don't, don't give up. Good advice. Yeah, um, just like Jay said, keep grinding. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Black Pipe Morning Show. Only in the afternoon on PSNGM.com. I got my man Del P in the building. We've been hearing some really, really good records, man. Oh, man. And, um, you know, I want to hear some bars. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hear some bars now. I'm going to wait. Let me see which one's that bar. Sure, let's do it. It don't even, it don't even that, that vibe like you want to 
Yo, he it that's dope. Let, let me tell you. No, nah, but it like, give you it give you some revolutionary and make you make, make you think. think. Make, make you think. Great. Yeah. He wanna think, man, but we also wanna, you know what I mean? I don't wanna kill nobody at the same time. No, nah, sometimes good. Yeah, yeah. Hi, this is Lori. Hi, hey, Lori. Hey, Lori. Oh, hey, shout out to LP. I love that song. <laughs> oh, that's hey, my thing. I love that song. Listen, I also wanted to say, tell me to wake up. Listen, sure. I listened to a song the other day, and I'm not even going to name this guy, but this guy's been in for over a decade. And you still talk about this stuff that he, I mean, you're not talking about what he's talking about, but what he was talking about was stupid to me. So I love what you bring. Yeah. 